Okay, Christians, come on, man, Christians, my people. What are you doing out there? What are you doing out there? Come on, get it together. Watching the debates, get your act together. Okay, debating atheists 101. You don't have to win every single point of the debate. You don't have to double down on the least plausible aspects of Christianity. Try and force them to agree with you. Let it go. Give them round one. <laughs> See the point. Let's take, for example, Noah's Ark. Okay, one of the least plausible aspects of Christianity, if you're being completely honest with yourself, you probably did what I did and you started reading that story and went, hmm, that doesn't really seem plausible and just skip right over it. <laughs> that doesn't really seem all that believable. That's all they're saying, you know. They're not worshiping the devil with that particular point. They're just saying it doesn't seem all that plausible. So you don't have to dig in your heels and go, no, it's the inerrant word of God, right? scientifically true. There was a huge flood 6,000 years. It just doesn't make any sense. You know, you can, you can skip that part of the debate. Go, okay, I'll give you that round one to you. You know, you're debating Aaron Ra. Okay, you know, maybe you're debating Aaron Ra. I don't fucking know. <laughs> just debate Aaron Ra. Try it. See if it works. And he goes like, you know, there's no way 15,000 animals could have could have fit on an ark and then how are they going to survive? The lions would have eaten the zebras and, you know, it just doesn't seem possible. Go, I agree. It really doesn't seem possible. I agree with you. Okay, <laughs> let's go to round two. You win that round. I mean, come on. You know, you, they, you don't have to let the atheists define the parameters of the debate. If they want to insist that we're debating, you know, whether Noah's Ark is absolutely, spotlessly, inerrantly, scientifically proven true, you know, you kind of, you can, you can try to wreck your credibility by going, absolutely, hands down, no way. But you see how that works out? I mean, you see the, the you know, the Noah's Ark Christians, the guys building the museums that scientifically proves that Noah's Ark absolutely happened, case closed, as the book may say that it happened, you know, we could get to that too. Who who told you that that's the right translation? That it was a, that it was absolutely case closed, global flood, and no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Hmm, sounds a little suspicious to me. You know, we could go there. But the, but the, the point being, okay, if you if you want to maintain your credibility, then you have to be honest. If there are aspects of Christianity that you yourself are not 100% convinced are all that convincing, you know, even fucking, what, what's his face? William Lane Craig, even William Lane Craig, the apologist, apologist, spends all day and all night apologizing for this aspect of Christianity or that aspect of Christianity. That's all he does. He's always apologizing for Christianity. He's like the apologist of the apologist. Even he won't debate Noah's Ark, won't say like, oh, okay, Noah's Ark, case closed. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's scientifically proven. It's not scientifically proven, you know? And I'll look at your, you know, if you're, if you're one of these Noah's Ark Christians and you say yeah, it's absolutely established fact, you know, I'll read your, your little memo. I'll read your, your little paper on it, uh, you know, post it or whatever. I'll check it out. I'll go to your YouTube site. But I'm going to walk away probably not all that convinced. Why? Because it's not all that convincing, people. I mean, it's not rocket science. If you're not 100% convinced about this specific aspect of Christianity, let it go. See the point. Go, okay, Aaron Ra, you win that round. Let's go to round two. You know, you don't have to double down in it. You don't have to get stuck in the, 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 part, of the, the part of the book that you yourself struggled to understand how it was true. And, you know, while we're at it, you might as well throw the old, you might as well throw the, uh, you know, why did God endorse slavery? And so, oh, well, he didn't, you know, the slaves were, back then it was this type of slave. Yeah, it's not very convincing either. You don't have to, you don't have to go down the path. You, the debate as it's supposed to be is God is real or God is not real. Give me evidence that God is real. Tell me why he's real. Make me, convince me that he's real. It doesn't, you don't have to debate on the least plausible aspects of Christianity. There are some parts of Christianity that even, you know, that reasonable atheist will go, well, you know, I don't necessarily agree with Craig, but 
that's plausible or that's believable or what he says sounds reasonable. And then there are other parts of Christianity where they're just not going to be on board. They're just not going to buy it. And if you're being completely honest with yourself, you probably don't buy it either. You know, like I said, William Lane Craig, the apologist, apologist of all apologists, like the, the world champion, always apologizing for Christianity, always. All, all his websites, all his videos, always apologizing. Doesn't deal with Noah's Ark. Why? Because it's not that convincing. It's really just not. I mean, I can think of a lot of different ways why, how it can be reconciled. You know, I don't really want to necessarily go down this route because some fucking tripped out Christian will start coming after me. You know, I, you don't need to convince me, okay? You need to convince them. And all I'm telling you is the arguments as stated, if you say that it's, yeah, case closed, it's scientifically proven, you know, that... The world is 6,000 years old and it was destroyed by a global flood and the scientists just don't seem to pick it up because X, Y, Z, P, D, Q. It's just not that plausible. It's just not that plausible. You are destroying the credibility of the rest of us by doubling down on the least convincing aspects of Christianity and loudly and stubbornly insisting that there is no other way to interpret gobbledygook but the way you say to interpret it makes us all look bad you know ruins ruins all our credibility makes me look bad makes me look bad does does makes me look bad i start debating atheists like well ah, noah's ark I'm like who brought up noah's ark what are you talking about you know, i didn't even read the story barely I skipped over that part yeah you can do that you can skip over parts of the bible there's no law that says i have to account for every single word that's in the bible because i am now a christian who is defining that who's saying that's the debate that's what atheists try to get you. Oh, you're a Christian? Yes. Well, then tell me why, what, tell me why, you know, the Old Testament endorses slavery. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How about that? I have no idea. Maybe because they were slave owners. <laughs> wow, my head just exploded. What do you mean? Ah, that's context. <laughs> Doesn't have to be all that insane, people. You can go. I don't know. Let's go on. Let's move on to point three. Let's move on to point four. You know, somewhere in there, if you are an actual Christian with actual faith that is real to you, that's the whole point. That's why I'm terrible at these debates. You know, what the hell is my agenda? What is my agenda? To, to what? Outmaneuver you intellectually? Pff, I could do that. Probably do it in my sleep. Please, please show up with your stupid little science charts. Eat your little science chart for breakfast. Make your little science chart dance around my living room. Make me a sandwich with your little science chart bullshit. Please. Is that really the name of the game, though? Am I really trying to outmaneuver you intellectually? Does that prove anything? What does that prove? You know? Matt Dillahunty does that every single day, but he, but he beats up on lightweights, basically. 